morning, you guys. It's day nine. We changed our entire plan for today. Drove in a different direction just because we were close to Niagara Falls and all of us wanted to do it. We're not just looking at it. We are basically getting in a boat and going in it. Something like that. Say hello, Brooklyn. Hi. Before we do all of that, if you are just joining us on this journey, let me explain a little bit about what we are doing. Brooklyn and I are trying to travel to all 50 states before I start my next period. And if you're wondering why my period, it's because we are raising money for period poverty. So our goal is $100,000. And right now we are $75,000 into that goal. We are so close to 100,000 and we are barely even into our trip, which is absolutely insane. So you can donate in the link in our description, or if you can't afford to donate, you can just subscribe to our channel. There are a lot of you watching right now that are not subscribers. So if all of you guys subscribed, seriously, it would make a massive difference. So just click that subscribe button or donate in the link in our description box and you guys are gonna help end period poverty, which is so freaking cool. Okay, on to Niagara Falls. Okay guys, pouring rain. None of us are really prepared with much waterproof clothing. So we are all in our swimsuits walking to go see Niagara Falls. And then we will be going to do our, what they're calling, what is it? Wet boat ride in the devil's hole. Y'all, they and like whirlpool. The pictures are straight up like a ginormous wave hitting a boat. <laughs> as much as I'm cringing at being soaked from the rain right now, I'm 99% sure I will come out way, 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 way more soaked from the boat ride. OOTD, rain. We do be wearing rain today, guys. Hey, that right there is the US-Canada border. A lot of Canadian friends, hello. There we go. That's the falls, part of the falls on the US side. Look, a UFO. Up there in Canada, a UFO. This is the U.S. side of Niagara Falls, and over there, what you see in all the movies is the Niagara Falls all along there. Oh, Canada! We uh, thoroughly got drenched in the rain looking at Niagara Falls, although it was very beautiful. Um, now we are headed to this crazy boat ride. We'll probably get us more drenched. We're not going to take the camera, so whatever we film, it's going to be a little rough. This is what we were going to be doing today. Are you ready? Let's go. This is the after. O -O -T -D, again, water, right? Yeah, we're all so. I have one dry spot. How was it? Was it fun? So good. Recommend it? Yes. Yes, totally. That was actually so wild. We got super soaked. Ace has decided to stay behind because he was a little nervous and he had to work. But now everyone has changed and we are headed to our next stop, which is actually something a little different than what we've done. We mentioned that we would be switching out our drivers. So we're actually driving to the airport and we're gonna swap out our drivers. So my dad and my mom and my uncle are leaving and we have a new driver coming in as well as a friend. Let's go to the airport. Welcome to Pennsylvania. We are here. We are stopping at the airport and we are leaving. <laughs> we are not spending much time in Pennsylvania, unfortunately. Pennsylvania. We're here to come and go. We have another kind of long drive, di drive day today. And so I figured we'd play a little game to see who is 
the best at catching some food in their mouth. I've got watermelon Sour Patch Kids that we're gonna try to have a little competition and see who can do it the best. I thought we were gonna use the watermelon Sour Patch Kids, but somebody pounded the crap out of these things because they are gone. There's like four in there. Oh, like Somebody lying right now. The new candy we are gonna be using. These, if you have never tried these, are delicious. And they're also nice and circular, you can see, so they'll work really well. I feel like this is gonna be difficult only because we're in a moving RV. I have to get prepared. So here goes nothing. of a competition so <laughs> I'm the only one who seems to be able to get it in. That's what she said. I'm just so naturally good at everything. I know I'm gonna get this. Oh, I have a competitor. It's a face-off. Camry and I are gonna do it at the same time and see who can catch it. And if we tie, we do it again until one of us misses. One, two, three. I'm not proud, okay? Okay, I am now doing I'm not <laughs> I have not fallen. I have not fallen. You will. Okay, that's just because you leave your dogs out all the time. You will. <laughs> Which is worse, socks and sandals or your dogs hanging out? Oh, the sandals are meant to be worn with those socks. <laughs> it's not the dogs, it's the dirty bottom. So for I bet if you look at the bottom of your feet, they're they're dirty. No already like top notch in the McKnight family. No, Brooklyn's higher. Wiki feet can't have us. You can't touch us. Desperate time, desperate measures. Gotta get my Dr. Pepper. Like we said, today we say goodbye to some of our drivers. Well, the pit crew. I was never a driver. Pit crew and drivers. Pit crew number one is changing out for pit crew number two. Number two pit crew coming in clutch. They're heading home and they're actually going to go on another trip. Well, we are home for a few days and we're heading to Ecuador. That sounds like fun. We'll be in the surprise! RV. The RV! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye. leaving I have found 10 subscribers which equals one period product in a spare chain at the laundromat. <laughs> He's been collecting them everywhere we go. He sees cents. them on the street. 73 cents. 73 cents. <laughs> Okay, so since we have new people joining us, we are doing a revamp of the RV pit crew. All right, first off, we've got an OG member of the RV, Asa Ryan McKnight Howard. Do you have anything to say? Hey, I'm Asa, Bailey's husband. I'm so happy to be here, but now I'm just a lot more tired. All right, we've got another OG RV member, Camry McKnight. Do you have anything to say? Don't judge my uh, outfits. I have better fashion than this usually. It's me, Bailey. OG RV member of the crew. All right, up next we've got Brooklyn McKnight, another OG RV member. Do you have anything to say? I look really bad today. I'm so glad we're doing this today of all days. <laughs> all right, up next we have a new member of the RV crew, Miss Stephanie, AKA Asa's mom, who will be driving for us this week. Do you have anything to say? Super excited. I can't wait. <laughs> and welcome to the crew, Wesley, a family friend who will be joining to be driver's assistant. Do you have anything to say? I'm super pumped to get aboard the big rolling turd. <laughs> I'm super pumped to be here and uh... <laughs> We've been wet, we've been cold, we lost some of our drivers, we gained some people, but nothing is a better comfort than... I hop. Where's Maddie Ziegler at? This is the home of Dance Moms, in case you guys didn't know. I'm not gonna drop it. I I'm about to show up, I'm about there. to show off my Dance Moms move. Are you ready? This is about to be tragic. Oh no, you're done. 
Dance mom, take me in. <laughs> no. Take me in, dance mom. Nothing better than IHOP on a cold and rainy day. This is a comfort food, for real though. We are just dropping off some period goodies in the IHOP bathroom. Cause you know, we want period supplies to be accessible to everyone. I feel like a fairy godmother. <laughs> Flitting. Hi Hop, you've always been good to us. Wow. Thank you. West Virginia! This is our home for the night. I have a bone to pick with you because your sign is very far away. We love you anyway, West Virginia. Now let's go to the RV campsite. Well, we uh, were gonna go to our RV site, but while we were pulling up, we saw the sign. And you know the magic words. This massive parking lot, and we can't And no it. one's here. And then there's this beautiful barn. It's freaking so pretty in the sunset. And we saw the words ice cream, which are magic words. So we're exploring. Virginia. West Virginia. Where are we and where is everybody else? Mountain so Mama. I don't know where everyone Take else is. Home. West Virginia. Yeah. Where are you guys? Road. Where are you guys, West Virginia? <laughs> Who wants to check the poop? Who's on poop duty? It's poop time. Yeehaw! We're not in Texas anymore. <laughs> but detour for how freaking pretty this RV camp is. West Virginia. I'm shook right now. I have no words. Can you guys see my whole body? We're getting whole body shots today, ladies and gentlemen. That is a rare occasion. Look at the scenery behind me. Did anyone other than the West Virginians know that it was this pretty? Because I definitely had no idea. This is probably the best RV stop we have had. We were spending the night here in West Virginia and then we were taking off to more states tomorrow. I've impressed West Virginia. We are staying back here because it smells bad over there. It's that soup. <laughs> bad one. Ooh someone was taking a stinky one. So we decided that tonight is the perfect night to make a campfire and we just found a big old stick and now we're gonna break it into some twigs and hopefully start a fire. The wood is a little bit wet right now, but hopefully we can get it going. So we used to go camping a lot when we were little, and so we know how to start fires around here. At least we're trying to. One of the things you want to look for is red pine needles because they will catch. Green ones do not burn as well. They smoke. So I sent Asa to go find some. And I said, okay. That's green, Asa. And I said, what do you mean? Asa is colorblind. The whole tree looks the same. <laughs> so I'm just picking randomly and hoping <laughs> red ends up in my hands. Literally, what in the crap? That is my mother, and she's on a scooter. We did not come here with a scooter. Literally, where did she come from? Where did she go? I have a lot of questions. Where did you get it? I stole it. <laughs> oh, you found a friend? Yeah. Is that your friend? Yeah. Wow, looking good. I love it, it's super cute. <laughs> So this is the man that let us borrow the scooter. But we're gonna ask him some questions. So what's your name? Joe Kennedy. Joe, nice to meet you. How long does a period usually last? Uh, seven days. How long is a full cycle, a woman's cycle, from the start of the period until the start of the next one? 21 days. Okay. Uh, can you name three tampon brands? Tampax. Okay. Kotex. Okay. Playtex. All right, nice. <laughs> All right, and lastly, how does a pad work? Um, it absorbs. How do you, uh, like, it has a, where does adhesive it adhesive strip yeah. and you, you put it on your underwear? Nice, good job. I've been married a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're an expert. <laughs> they did it. chocolate s'more. This is the only way to eat a s'more. More chocolate, less marshmallow. While we're enjoying s'mores, mm -hmm. we thought we would pull up the donation page and see where we're at. 82, 82 
We are getting there, guys. That's 82% of our way to our goal. We're so close, I can taste it. And I just cannot wait till we hit the 100,000 goal and hopefully blow through it. Yeah, just because we hit our goal doesn't mean we need to keep stopping. We're we not gonna stop getting a higher and higher goal. The more money donated, the more people we can help, the more period products are donated, point blank. It's incredible. You guys are incredible. And we cannot say thank you enough to the people that keep donating to the $1, to the $1,000, to the $10,000, $20,000. Which we haven't got guys. yet, but we are hoping we do. Mm -hmm. All of you guys are extremely special and you guys are doing something that is really important and we love you guys for it. Um, don't forget you can check out the end card. If you can't afford to donate, we will donate on your behalf. All you have to do is click that red button that it says subscribe on our channel. And if you've already donated, you can still subscribe and we will still Still donate for you. Double dipping? Please. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> all right, and with that, we're actually gonna count this as our good night for the night. So we love you and we'll see you all tomorrow. Mwah. Mwah.